This is the micro-homily for the 2nd of November. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. These readings are full of hope. In that first reading, the reassurance that the virtuous person, though they will have trials to endure, is safe in the hands of God that when their final destiny comes, all their afflictions, and they may have been severe of life on this earth, will seem as nothing compared to the joys of eternity. The promise that this gift is not reserved for those with great intellectual gifts or profound insight, to know how to live a loving life is something that's accessible to anyone. And it's by that that a person is judged. The promise of a new life that's symbolised by rest and by a banquet, a joyful banquet, strengthens our hope. Today on All Souls Day, we pray for the eternal rest of those we have loved and lost. And we pray not in a little hope, but we pray with that profound hope that comes from the Word of God and from the reassurance of the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ, who died and is risen and who longs to share his resurrection with those who are ready to accept his invitation to make love the overriding criterion by which the daily decisions of life are made.